Okay, number four, uh, it says find the preceding and succeeding of each of the following numerals. So we want to find out the number that comes before and the number that comes after uh, this number. So you got to be careful here. Um, <clears throat> let me just say base 10. This is our normal counting system. Base 10. Okay, so if I had 330 and I want to find out what comes before that, I would subtract 1. Okay. Um, because there are no ones in this place, we would have to borrow. And in base 10, when I borrow one from the tens place uh, and I take it to the ones, that gives me 10 ones. And then from 10, I would subtract 1. That will leave me with 9. And this place has 2 now. And this place still has 3. So we would have 329. Um, similarly, <clears throat> we're going to do the same thing, but we're in base 4. Okay, so base 4 um, is going to be a little different. So we have 330. Okay, we're in base 4. So when I borrow ones from what, we're, what I'm calling is the tens place, there's only four of them that it took to make that position. So when I subtract 1, okay, because I want to find what came before that, I'm borrowing one because I don't have any ones here. So this number is going down to a two. And over here, I'm not taking 10, I'm taking four because I'm in base four. Then from this four, I would subtract one and that will leave me with three, bring down my two and my three. So the number that comes before 330 is 323. So you always gotta keep in mind what base you're in that tells you how many to carry over. So 323 is the number that comes before it. And then the number that comes after it, you just add one and there's nothing tricky there. So we're gonna just add one and that will give us 331 in the ones place. Okay, so we're in base three on the next number. And uh, I guess in our base 10 counting system I would call that a hundred thousand one we got five zeros uh, yes okay and I'm just gonna put a B three we're in base three or normally we just put like a little three at the end that says the base okay so this is the number base three again I want to find out what came before it so I'm gonna subtract one <clears throat> now there is nothing here so I have to borrow nothing here nothing here I go all the way over here to borrow so when I get rid of this one there is nothing left and I carry over a three because I'm in base three I borrow one of those that becomes a two and I carry over a three and then the same thing two comes a three borrow this is a two this becomes a three borrow this is a two this becomes a three now from this three, we can subtract one, and that will give us two. And then I just bring down all of these other twos that we had. So in succession, we have five twos in base three that comes before this number that looks like 100,000. So we have two, 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 two. And then we're going to just add one. So adding one to the smallest place value of 100,000, just add one. Find the number that comes after it, and it'll just be uh, 100001. Okay, so now we have another one that looks a little tricky and uh, here's what's going on here <clears throat> we're counting in base 11 which is bigger than 10 okay so um, we use 10 digits when we're counting base 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then when we get here, we use a two-digit number. We call it 10. Okay. 
In base 11, this 10 is still representing a single digit. But if I was to write 10, it looks like a two digit. Okay, so what they do instead of writing 10 here is they put the letter T, because 10 starts with T. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then when I get to 11, that's when I round up to the 10's place having two digits. So this means 10, and this is one group of 11. This, this 10 right here actually means we have 11, which is one group of 11 and zero ones. Very confusing, I know, but um, try to follow. Um, we're counting in base 11. So we have 10 here, this represents 11, but we don't actually use 11, we just count that as one group of 11 and zero ones. So, and then I would keep going. I would do uh, actually 11, which looks like 11, which is one group. Let me just keep counting. One group of 11, um, and then a single one, and then 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Now, when I got to 20, again, I'm using a single digit number. So I'm going to say one group of 11 and 10 ones. So this T is going to be one T. This is um, 20. And then when I get, make sure 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, which would represent another group of 11. I would write um, two zero. So then I would actually get to 20. So <clears throat> it's strange and when we're counting these different systems, but uh, this is what we're doing. So this number that we're looking at on C says T, T, T. So that's a 10, 10, and 10. So we've um, counted up. Uh, 10 ones, we've counted up 10 groups of 11 here, and 10 groups of 11, or 10 groups of 10 here. These are our 10 um, in different place values. We're gonna subtract one. And when I subtract one from 10, this gives me T, T, and just subtract one from this, is this is nine, okay? Because that T represents 10 in that place value. So, um, this first one, the number that comes before it, is um, TT9. I don't know if they, let me go ahead and put capital, because I think the, um, the notation is specific. So TT9, because we're just subtracting one from there. Okay, now the next part, I'm gonna be adding one. So I'm gonna add one. <clears throat> so when I add one to 10, that gives me 11, which rounds up, okay? So this is 11, which we're counting in base 11, so we round up, I'll carry a one, bring down a zero. So this is 10 plus one, which makes 11. So I'm gonna round up. Again, this is 10 plus one, which makes 11. So we're gonna round up. So every time we get to 11, we round up to the next number. So adding one to these three groups of 10 is gonna give me, um, 1,000 or a number that looks like 1,000, uh, which we call this 1,000 base 11. Okay. It's not the 1,000 that we know in base 10, it's in a different base. <clears throat>